in order to set up the title banner on the collection page, let's go to a collection. I'll click on the yoga top. And it takes me into the yoga into the yoga top collection. So now that I'm in a collection, right? And there's collections that you can find all throughout your site. Then I'll look for title banner, which I could see on the left. And now I'm in my title banner section. Inside of the title banner, this controls your title, right? This title within your collection page section. So we have some settings. We first have this layout and we could choose to change it from boxed to global default, from global default to full width background or full width. So there's tons of options. We can also change the height so we can increase it or decrease it. And we see it removes the spacing on the top and the bottom of where our title is. So I can increase it. Boom, and we have some space. But you can move it to your desire or move it to your liking. Next, we have our content alignment. So we can move this from the center to the left, to the right. I'll keep it center. And we can also change the alignment from the top to the bottom. See, this is for the left and the right. This, these content alignment options are for the top and the bottom. So we can go top, middle, or bottom. See that? Really cool, really useful. You can play around to your liking. Um, okay, here we have our show title, and this allows us to see our title. And it's just saying, show us the title of our collection. So if I de deselect this, boom, it's gone. But if I click it, it's back. So you can choose if you want your title to show or not show with this uh, checkbox here. We next have our title size. We can change the size of it. Right now it's on medium. We can change it to small. That's really small. Or we can change it to base. Or we can go to big. I really like how big looks. Um, so I'll leave big for now, but you can change it to whatever works best for you. You have this option here to show collection description. What is a collection description? If I click it, it adds a description about my collection. So if somebody just ends up, you know, in your store and they end up in a collection, you can have it set where it will show the description, right? So this is, this will explain more about the products that will be found in that collection. The question now is, it seems kind of big. <laughs> is there a way that I can limit some of this description to be shown? You can. So you can go to truncate description and move it from zero to, let's say, 410 and whenever you hit that max you see it'll put those dots after it right so you can go all the way right so it's what this is doing is it's setting a limit of how many words you want to allow so if you have it as far as possible then if you hit or if you have less than 920 words it allows it to show all of the words but if you bring it down See that? It only limits it to like 40 words or whatever you, you want your limit to be. And that's all that we'll see. And the less words you see, it looks pretty clean. So you can choose and mess around to what works best. So I'll move it up a little bit. Cool. So we can change the text color. And make it, let's say, red. Or there's some options here. We can make it orange. Like there's so many different options we could go with and you can just pick and choose whatever works or you can leave it as none and it will leave it as black. You can go to background color. Let's say you want to have an exciting background color to go with your, your store theme. So we can go with something blue. Boom. And I'll let everybody know. Boom. This is something that I really want to show. So, you know, you can mess around with your background color to what works best. 
Blue kind of clashes with the orange, so I'll just do a quick swap. Boom. Maybe a little bit better, but play around with what works best for your situation. And we can choose to use collections featured image as the background. What does that mean? Collections featured image. We can click it. And whatever our featured image, if we have one set, it will be the background. But we don't have a featured image set. That's why we're not seeing this. See that? Pretty cool, pretty useful. So then we have default background image. We can set an image, right? So here we're saying whatever the featured image is, you can make it as the background if this is checked. We could also just say, hey, we can set an image that no matter, uh, we can set an image so that is always going to be the image. It doesn't matter if we set it as featured or not. So I'll click it. I will choose um, booster, right, the booster logo. Press select and boom, it fits. We can now do cool things with it, like add an overlay. So what that means is, let me just show you. You can slide it up. See, it puts kind of like a little color over it. So what happens is it makes the background uh, kind of go into the background and the text stand out. So you can change it to whatever works best, as much like high as possible, as low as possible. Change the overlay color as well. So you like to green or something. Um, looks kind of not so great, but I'll press none. And so you can really just play around with it and make it something that fits. I'll make it black just so you can make up the text. Cool. And that's our title banner for our collection page. Thank you for watching this video. Please refer to our Help Center for more information.